What is going on everyone? The trailer for Saw X has just released and I'm actually looking forward to this movie. I wouldn't say I'm like a massive fan of the Saw franchise. I've enjoyed quite a few of their movies, especially the first two. I think they're actually really solid horror films, but the rest of them, they're just entertaining. They're really just entertaining. I don't think they're that great. They're just entertaining. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Hopefully it's a decent one. Hopefully it's one of the better films in the franchise. Let's watch this trailer. Hopefully it's got some cool traps. That's what I'm mainly looking forward to is just how cool the traps are. Alright, all I know is this is, takes place between Saw 1 and Saw 2. That's all I know. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment outside Mexico City. So yeah, it takes place in Mexico. She saved my life. You're in very good hands with us. I love how they're not showing Kramer. <laughs> not yet, at least. Your whole life happens then. John Kramer. According to these scans, the tumor was never removed. Damn. So these people didn't actually help him. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. <laughs> Oh, so is he putting the people who did this surgery on him in the traps? Did this unsuccessful surgery on him? Hello, everyone. It's time to play a game. That's kind of interesting. All pretended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. <laughs> That's actually kind of terrifying. No light, no the only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic. But trust me, you will want to remain alert. <laughs> I'm glad this puppet's back because they, they didn't use it in Spiral. You picked John Kramer? Please, don't hesitate. Place a big enough piece of your cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. Oh! Oh! This is not retribution. It's a reawakening. This looks fucking good, actually. <laughs> This actual is really good. Live or die. The choice is yours. Oh shit! Okay, that makes perfect sense. You'd be in this, obviously, because this takes place between one and two. I'm look. I'm gonna be honest. Oh Jesus, Sean Chandler, why are you popping up out of nowhere? Jesus, dude. I'm genuinely impressed with that. Like that has a lot of cool stuff to it. So what I heard based on the story is that it takes place between one and two. It's in Mexico. Um, at least for part of it. I'm not sure how much it's going to be in Mexico. And it's based on him getting surgery. Now, it appears in this trailer that the surgery did not work. I'm not sure if they purposely did not make it work or if they just are terrible doctors that just <laughs> didn't realize that they didn't actually make it work. Um, and then he sets the trap on all of them. And it takes place all between the first two. So I wonder how that's going to work. Is it actually going to like tie in events from the first and second film or is it just going to completely ignore those and just be like okay this is what he was up to between those two films i'm completely fine with that i think it's an interesting concept it's a good way to bring back kramer without just you know bringing him back to life or some bullshit because a lot of people say that all the time they're like oh he constantly comes back to life he, he doesn't come back to life he's just in a lot of the movies based on like flashbacks and such that's why he's always in the movies but this is a good way for the whole film to be mainly focused on um, him as uh, Tobin Bell as Kramer. This is a great way to do it, in my opinion. When I heard he was coming back, I thought it sounded kind of stupid at first, but honestly, I'm down for this. It doesn't really make sense to call it Saw X, if we're being honest, but the traps look cool. The, the visuals look cool. It looks gory as hell. There was this one scene, I, I, I think he was cutting open his own brain. Yeah, so this looks freaking gruesome. I think he's forcing him to open up his own skull. Maybe there's like a key in there that unlocks it. That's my guess. There's probably going to be a key in there to unlock this trap. And he has to cut his, his head open in order to get it. Which is freaking ironic and gruesome. Because obviously, you know, the whole 
brain surgery in the first place. And we know the brain surgery didn't work because he was trying to get the brain surgery done in the third film anyways. So, of course it wasn't going to work. And I'm glad the trailer... That, that's really smart, honestly. Like, I gotta say, this is actually a smart thing to do for your next film. If you, you know, didn't have any ideas for it, this is not... This is a good idea. You know, people always say, if you do what you can do a sequel, make sure there's some good ideas for it. And I'm liking this. The traps look cool. Uh, this looks like it's the same... The, yeah, this gotta be from the Saw 1 uh, bathroom, right? Looks like it, at least. And then, of course, she returns in the end. I, I fully expected that. I, they might have already announced that she's going to be in it, but, again, it makes perfect sense. All right. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. I think this looks absolutely amazing. But then again, I mean, I thought Spiral looked really good, and I also thought it was just kind of okay when it came out. I didn't think it was a bad movie. I just I was a bit disappointed by it, but I still enjoyed it. And I think this has potential to be a decent movie. When it comes out, I'm definitely going to be doing a review and a ranking of all the Saw films. So definitely check this channel out for that. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out, everyone.